it's decision time, so I decided to bring in some reinforcements. Whoa! I'm bringing in the old roommates! <laughs> Play the graphic! Hello everybody and welcome to the GCU Lope Show. I'm your host, Caleb Duarte, and welcome to our It's Not Too Late episode. We're 2020 graduates who are finally getting our graduation day after a year. We're so excited. Go Lopes, that we thought it'd be the perfect time to come together and talk about how GCU changed our lives. So roomies, introduce yourselves. All right, uh, my name is Jaeger Price. Uh, I'm from Nebraska and I majored in business management. Hi, I'm Robbie Yamaguchi. I'm from San Diego, California, and I majored in biology with an emphasis in pre-med. Hi, I'm Ryan. I'm from Los Angeles, California, and I majored in healthcare administration. So we're graduating, and we thought it'd be the perfect time to talk about how GCU changed our lives, because right now, you're probably thinking, is GC the place for me? And the four of us, it absolutely was. And uh, you probably have the best reason why it changed your life. Why? Well, so I, I actually met my fiance here yeah, at GCU. So, but yeah, you know, I, I got to meet the person that you know I'm excited to spend the rest of my life with, which you know is such a, a huge blessing. And you know, GCU being such an awesome community, it gave me the place to do that. Mm. So it did. And speaking of that community, you thrived here as well. Yeah, I would say I, uh, community was a big part of how GCU really changed my life here. I think getting tied into such great leadership opportunities really allowed me to excel in academics and really finding a, a great job that I was going to like after graduation. So mm. uh, definitely community was a big part of my time here. Oh, yeah. And Robbie? And then going along with that, the like with community, there was just a lot of intentional friendships and intentional decisions to go about and just make friends, even in daily life, of like how the small things make a huge impact and how... GCU is a small thing in my life, but it's made a huge impact on my life, so. Oh yeah, and speaking of that impact, the four of us, and especially these three gentlemen right here, really made an impact on the things you might not think about that plays a role in your college experience. So we're gonna go on three mini field trips here and show you a little underground things that make GCU the place to be, field trip. All right guys, we're at our first special place of GCU, and if you notice, we're not wearing something that our friend Ryan's wearing, because this guy, uh, was a part of something we call the Honors College, which is right behind us. Ryan, tell us about it. Yeah, so the Honors College was, uh, I think, a really big pivotal part in my time here as far as what I was going to do with my degree. I think it's nice to go to a university like GCU, but at the end of the day, you have to ask yourself, what are you going to do with that degree? And I think the Honors College was really there to help uh, find a good route that was going to help me get a job, but also develop a lot of my leadership skills too. So super grateful for the Honors College. Glad I was able to uh, do that in my time here. Very thankful for a lot of the opportunities that I was given here um, at GCU. And you wear the medal proudly. Yes, I do. You do it. All right, we reached our second location, which is Robbie's place, GC Changer's Life. Um, yeah, this is actually my old homestead. This is where, as busy as I was with studying, I also was a student worker, and this is where my place of home was. So, if you guys follow me. GCBC, our coffee shop, where Robbie was a barista here for, what, three years? Yes, I actually got hired on my sophomore year um, when I got to GCU. I had like one semester of like experience with coffee. And at the time when I got hired, I didn't actually like coffee, but I loved energy drinks. So it was really interesting when they hired me. They're like, so you don't drink coffee? I'm like, no, but I'm a lot of fun. And they took <laughs> the risk on me and I worked there for three years. And this was a huge part of my college experience. So we are at the student leadership building. I know all of us, we were all involved in student leadership very early on campus. This building specifically gave us, you know, a group of people who wanted to serve this campus and, you know, wanted to make a difference outside of, you know, just themselves. So mm -hmm. if you could define GCU in one word, what would you use? I would say leadership. Leadership is a big part of everything you do here, whether it's a student worker position, um, student engagement, really any facet of campus life that you get involved in, you'll find really good opportunities to develop your leadership skills here. I'd say intentionality. I think when it comes to work or comes to having fun, you're always going to find people that you can intentionally connect with. And those relationships have clearly, you know, lasted. Sadly. <laughs> That's kidding. Well, I guess they're not going to last after this. Uh, I would say just being genuine. I feel like when you first get here, there's this sense like you you just left high school. You don't really know like who you are anymore because your friends are gone. Yeah. But then you slowly get to like find out who you are at school, find out like what it is to be a genuine human and get to interact with other people. We're still friends to this day and it wasn't like a fake friendship. It's like, all right, let me just have friends to get through school. It's like, no. We're all graduated and like we're still in touch. And you're all in my wedding, so. Yeah, That's there we too. are. <laughs> so maybe we'll do a Lope show there. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> you better not, man. It's on the road. Cheers, guys. Let's graduate, okay? Yes, cheers. cheers. Yeah.